Hey SEO Rockstars, it's Phil Carrick here from redchilidigital.com and today I want to go through um, SEO <coughs> predictably, okay, and um, a lot of people, it, SEO is a dirty word and I, I can get that because there's lots of different permutations, but this thing I'm going to share with you today, it really does make life a lot easier and also as well if you work with an seo agency you can keep tabs on them aha hint hint okay so that's a really good thing as well so the thing i want to show you okay well in actual fact let's sort of rewind seo search engine optimization why is that important because you want your website or you want your digital assets to appear as high up the search rankings as humanly possible Hopefully page one, okay, because not too many people search page two and page three, okay um, You really want to be on page one So in order to get to page one for your chosen keywords, you have to have an SEO strategy You need to know where to insert your keyword or keywords uh, Within your content. So we'll start with the home page for example, okay, so um, I'll just I'm gonna pick any random website okay I really hope this isn't your website who knows maybe it is okay but look we'll go to a we'll go to a website we will search for let's use everybody's favorite niche chiropractors so chiropractor near me let's see who's knocking around premier want somebody with a website okay so Lisbon, Belfast. Let's let's pick some of the let's pick either one of these because they've got some nice reviews. Premier has it. Okay, so Lisbon Chiropractic Clinic. Okay, so I've never worked with these people, so I don't know what I'm going to find. So we'll just click on website. Okay, so there we go. We've got uh, we've got the website here. All right. Now what? There, there is a there's a, a Chrome extension, a Google Chrome extension called Meta M E T A Meta SEO Inspector. Meta SEO Inspector. And if you're a business owner, okay, if you have a website, I would recommend downloading this this Google Chrome plugin. So there it is. There, you just want Chrome.google.com. Just click on that. And it'll say remove from Chrome, okay? Because I'm already using it. Yours will say install, okay? Or add to Chrome, something like that. So you just click add to Chrome. And then basically, yes, it looks like this. Don't let this put you off because it is a bit scary, but don't, don't let it be, okay? So once you click um, um, install for Chrome, okay? Or add to Chrome, uh, right up here at the top right uh, in the Google Chrome toolbar, you've got this little jigsaw thingamajig. jig. Okay, if you just click on on this, the extensions, and scroll down, you can see all my different extensions here. We're looking for Meta SEO Inspector. So it's this thing here with the two light bulbs. And all you're going to do is you're going to click the pin. You're going to add it to your toolbar at the top. So there you go. Okay, and... So, um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to visit this, this, this website here. Now you can see it's starting to work. There we go. Meta SEO Inspector has access to this site. Okay. So if this was your site, all you do is you click on this little tool and you go down and there's, whoa, there's a few warning tabs. Okay. Don't panic. Okay. Don't panic. So we're looking at mobile. So it, it basically, it gives you what's wrong with your website. Now you're always going to have warnings here. So don't worry if you if you see warnings, okay? We've all got warnings, all right? Even if you're an SEO agency, you'll still have warnings, all right? And look, you can see all sort of what we call anchor text, yeah? And, you know, what sort of text is... is um, is being hyperlinked to different uh, different pages, etc. So it's really, really good, isn't it? Nah, look at this. Okay, but the what we want to look at is we want to have a look at things like okay the here here the headers, the headers. Okay, so that it's saying here the header, for example, that the H one. 
Okay, SEO is all, well, on-page SEO, it's about categorizing into different headers, H1, H2, H3, for example. H1 should, your keyword should be in your H1 tag. Lisbon Chiropractic Clinic. No, nah. okay, I would like to see chiropractor in there. Okay, so you can perhaps add chiropractor in there, okay? So H2, look at that, zero characters, it's empty. That's not good, okay? So you want to add an H2, um, which is basically, it's just like a subtitle, okay? So you're adding an H2 tag. So you could call that, you know, Lisbon, Lisbon's Premier Chiropractor, for example. You don't want to use the same header as H1, okay? Then H3 as well, yeah? You can sort of, whoops, I do apologize. There we go, we'll go back. Okay, and you can sort of click on this, click on these, and it'll sort of show you whereabouts they are on the on the site as well. So it'll it'll give you any warnings, okay? And look, there's a there's a there's a link here, okay, without any text or image attached to it. Alright? Now, here's the thing. I'm not expecting you to be an SEO whiz just by installing the Meta SEO Inspector. But it gives you an idea, especially if you're using an SEO agency. Hint, hint. Okay, you can keep tag, tabs on them. See if they're doing a good job or a not so good job. Okay, you can you can install it and go, hey, hang on, SEO agency. I mean, what does this mean? Mobile, there's a couple of warnings. What does this mean? Hang on, these headers. And then they know you're keeping tabs on them, okay? All right, so that's maybe a good thing as well, isn't it? So anyway, I don't want this to go on, go on for ages, this, this video. But this is a really good tool, okay? So install it. If you're using a web design agency or a marketing agency, install it and just say, hey, look, are you aware of these, these errors here? Just take a little screenshot and send it to them. And they'll go, blimey, where did you get this from? Aha, Meta SEO Inspector, okay? So this is just one of the many things, the many SEO things that can that can really make your head spin. But this is this is thankfully not one of the more difficult ones. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that, and uh, ho hopefully you found it useful. So signing off. Have a good day and good luck with your SEO um, results. Bye.